Hey gang, today we're going to do Eric Clapton's solo off of Bell Bottom Blues from Layla and Other Assorted Love Songs. It's probably my favorite track on the whole album, and a lot of it is because of this beautiful George Harrison-like solo that Eric Clapton does. The notes aren't that hard to hit at all, but man, is it just so melodic and just fits the song perfectly. I'm going to do a demo, and then after that I'll do the lesson. Hey, if you like this, why don't you click the like button, and if you haven't yet, subscribe for a couple of these every single week. We'll see you in just a second with the demo. Alright gang, first things first, you can download the tab from the link in the description. It's going to make your life a lot easier, or at least a little bit. Okay, so let's do a slow-mo, and then I'll talk just a tiny amount about theory, and then we'll do it line by line. Okay, so let's start out with a slow-mo. B string 12th is where we're starting. Here we go. All right. Okay, so we can think of this, now let's talk theory and chords and all that. We can think of this as primarily a solo that's in the key of C major, with one exception, although you won't really even have to worry about it in the notes. So the chords on this are basically C, E with a B bass. That's a pretty interesting chord. It's not in the key of C but we can safely kind of ignore it as we play through it. A minor, A minor with a G in the bass, F, G, and then this turnaround, which is F to C to G. Now all those chords, except for this E with a B bass, are diatonic to the key of C, so we can think of this in C major, and that's basically how it's gonna work here. All right, let's go through it line by line. Here is the first line. Okay, pretty straightforward line. What's interesting is this bend on the first string coming from the second string. So we're, we're, we're going on a bend on a, another string, and that's kind of a thing that happens a lot in this solo. So Start out on a B string 12th, and then climb up the C major scale. Give it some vibrato there. Now. So what's interesting is we're starting out on the second string, the B string 13, and going to the E string, the high E string, 15, instantly bend it. And then B string 15, coming down to 13. All right, here is the second line. All right, really cool this. We're going to start out on the G string this time on the 14th fret and then bend up on the E string 15. So we're skipping a string completely. Hold it, then bring it down. 
and now this. So one thing to look for on that one is we're going to hammer on on the, on the G string, 12 to 14, and then this really quick slide on the D string from 14 to 12, and then playing around on the 10 and 12. That's really the, the key to this one. The other thing to think about is this bend here. We don't usually bend a whole step on the G string, I'm sorry, on the D string, but here we are. On the 12th fret, we're gonna bend up a whole step. Or close to it. All right, here is the third line, and it's the second time through those sets of chords. Okay, so this is, it starts out with, so that's pretty straightforward on the G string 12 to 14. Okay, and then we're going to play on the B string 15, we're gonna give that a full and down and full and down and full and down six times. Now if you're playing it reasonably fast, which this is a pretty slow solo, but if you play it at speed, you should be able to sustain that note without having to pick again. But if you do have to pick again, that's fine. Six times, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and on the sixth one, or after the sixth one, we're going to play this. All right, now here are some pinch harmonics. This is actually really tough on a Strat that, or on a, any guitar, if you don't have lots O distortion. If you have tons of distortion, it makes, it makes these squealies or pick harmonics easier to deal with or easier to do on a predictable way. But Clapton did it without a lot of distortion. I just have a tiny amount of overdrive on this, just a little bit. The amp is just breaking up just a little bit. So, Now, I do mine a little bit weird, so I'll tell you how this, what the standard way is of doing it. The standard way is you, you kind of choke up on the pick as much as you can. Let's see if I can do that, show the pick there. There we go. I'm choking up as much as I can just to leave a tiny amount on the pick. And then you kind of play and dig in with your hand so that your flesh of your thumb just touches it just touches the string. And you know, there also is there are sweet spots on the neck that are gonna give you those. It takes a lot of practice to do that. Now, I hold my pick in a slightly weird way, so I actually go backwards and catch the first finger's flesh on it. Um, which is kind of interesting, and I don't recommend you do mine. But it works for me, and so I stick with it. So that's how I do that. Practice those again and again, and it's... On this one, it's really, really difficult to get them perfectly because, again, there's no, there's no distortion on it, so it's, it's easy to not get that pinch harmonic. I said pick harmonic before, pinch harmonic. All right, so it ends like this. Okay, here's the last line. Okay, so this is, again, on the first string. I'll just play it without the pinch harmonics, and I think that's maybe easier to see, and then just realize that you're adding pinch harmonics on this. All right, so that's that last line.
Now I throw in that last note because there's a transition into a different part of the song which actually is a change in key. It changes to, I believe, the key of A. And this is, this is a double stop that's based in A. I just slide up to the ninth fret. Ninth on the third string, ninth on the first. And play that double stop to end it. All right. All right, gang. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Again, this is just a favorite solo of mine, really a favorite song of mine. Great guitar work. It's just so beautiful. And I just love it. <laughs> on, a, on an album that's a fantastic album, it's a standout. So there you have it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did, and I'll see you on down the road.